David. Hey, congratulations, premiere for uh, Snow Valley. I mean, how does it feel for you tonight? It's fantastic. I'm, I'm so um, happy and grateful and thankful that this group of people, including myself, that we can all come together and really enjoy this, uh, this production of Snow Valley, you know? Um, it was helmed by uh, the late and great Brandon Murphy, um, a fantastic director. His directorial debut was this. And I couldn't be more thankful and more honored to be a part of this. So tell us what initially drew you to uh, this project. Um, it was sort of the unique qualities of the story. You know, uh, myself as a storyteller, as an actor, I, I'm drawn to story, simple as that, the root of it. What, what are the themes, what are the messages? And I felt like this was a very unique uh, sort of genre-breaking story. You know, it's got elements of a thriller, of horror, but there's also some unique elements of levity, of comedy, you know, and so I, I think it's got a great mix, and um, for anyone who's a movie lover, I think it's going to be a great watch, and uh, also the group, the people who are involved. Um, they were fantastic. Do you do a lot of horror thrillers? Because I know I know a lot of people would remember you from you know the Fosters and Good Trouble. Sure. Yeah. No, I I, I have not. I've I've dabbled. You know, um, after that sort of phase of my life ended with the Fosters and Good Trouble, I I, I found myself wanting to stretch my legs and, and go into areas that I have not before. Horror thriller being one of them. Um, I, I did one other smaller movie called As Certain As Death that came out uh, earlier this year, as well as Snow Valley Now. So I'm, ho I'm, I'm happy that both of these can come out and I'm excited to see what else I do in the future. So was, he, was it easy to transition on, you know, as an actor's mindset into yeah. a different genre for yourself? It, it, it wasn't necessarily easy, but it was so fun. Yeah. It was so fun and this group, uh, made it so much so easy and our location was fantastic the story was fantastic my character is also a departure from Brandon Foster who I played in the Fosters in Good Trouble so uh, I got to you know have a different energy which I think helped and I loved it I, I would love to do more horror thriller um, type stories I think they're fantastic now did you have any particular scenes with the horror icon Barbara Crampton I unfortunately did not get to do a scene with Barbara. I, she and I were kind of like ships passing in the night, you yeah. know. Like I feel like our schedules never really lined up. I never really, but I, I'm so honored that she's a part of this movie. I mean, it really excites me, and um, the movie buff in me is really excited by that. Uh, so you know, I, I, I have to be okay with that for now, and then maybe next time I'll do a scene with Barbara. So what was it like uh, being in that lodge? Because it looks creepy itself. Yeah. Yeah, it was, well, it was, it was creepy. I mean, set design was fantastic considering what we were up against coming off of, you know, the pandemic in the world, you know, um, so we had to honor that COVID bubble sort of situation. And uh, it was sometimes creepy, but most of the time it was a fantastic, comfortable, beautiful environment. Um, only promoting play and growth and storytelling, which is what I think any good set will promote. You know, so I think we were in a, in a fantastic environment. So, how do you love being a part of an indie project versus, you know, like a you know a big production? Sure. Um, kind of what I was just touching on: the energy and the maybe sometimes the freedom to explore choices, explore characters, explore. Um, the community, you know, getting involved with the cast in a real way and not necessarily always having to worry about the schedule, which I think sometimes makes things feel a little like we're on the clock. And I think the indie environment provides more of a place for the artist, the storyteller, the actor, whatever you do on set, provides more of a place for you to explore why you love what you love. And so I think there's a place for it all. You know, there, there's nothing wrong with a network television set. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic machine, fantastic, uh, powerful place to be. You know, but the indie world uh, it, it has its own magic, for sure. Oh, Saxon, one last thing. How's your how's your uh, skiing uh, abilities? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like a green circle, blue square kind of guy. You know, I'll cruise down. I'll cru cruise down the slopes very carefully. I'll get down to the bottom, and I'll be happy about it.
Well, we can't wait to check it out. Thank you for speaking to us about Snow Valley. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Nice to meet you.